Welcome to the St. Louis Wise Guys Show with Bob and Tom. I'm Bob Parati with Homestead Financial Mortgage. And I'm Tom Reed with Axios Financial. So what do you think of uh, the Cardinals? Oh, well, I know they're done. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they were done all right. They were done. They were done after the second game, I think. Yeah, well, maybe yeah. after the first game. Maybe after the first game. Uh, you got to be able to yeah. score runs in baseball to yeah. win. And you can't give too many outs. No. Too, too many times they, they let the ball drop and or bounce out of glove, I thought. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, thought, I thought the issue would be uh, pitching, yeah. and it turned out not really to be pitching. It turned, it turned out to be, be hitting. hitting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which yeah. Is, a big disappointment, yeah. I think, for yeah. most. Yeah. I think Washington, though. So. No, I, I thought they said Washington. If they made it in, if they got through the wild card. They had the, probably the best pitching. Right. And, and, and I, I wouldn't for, disagree. Wouldn't be that, surprised to see them win the whole thing. Right. With the way they mowed our team down. Right. Right. Mowed the Cardinals down. Mowed the Cardinals no down. Doubt about it. Yeah. So, so, it's, so a, it's on to hockey. On to hockey. Go, go Blues. Back. Go Blues. Yeah. You know, I haven't started picking up on them so much. Uh, I know they lost the Islanders the other day. Right. Uh, in OT when they had a lead. So hopefully that. Uh, uh, can be flipped around and win a few games here. Right. Well, I think I think the Cardinals kind of took all the uh, oh, yeah. all yeah. the TV time. time right, so now yeah. now the uh, Blues will be back yeah. back in. So yeah, yeah. Blues. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. So <laughs> it is fall season though, right? Fall uh, what do you got going on for the fall season? Well, you I know, I know, but <laughs> this is the time of year that I. Uh, do my uh, tax planning reviews with my clients. Right. So I remember those days. You know, there's there's still a lot of uh, confusion I think out there with right. the, with the tax law, even though we've been through it one year or, right. or is it two years already. This will be the second year. This will be the second, second year. year. Yeah. So I think there's yeah. still a lot of a lot of confusion on what's what's really happening out there. Yeah, and it, you know, when is and we've worked together a long time, so we've had these conversations a bunch. Uh, it is time you need to go. You need to go see your. Uh, your CPA or whoever the tax preparer is uh, working on your stuff, uh, uh, because the withholding tables are a little different this year, and you know folks that owed last year probably were corrected uh, with the withholding tables. See where they're at uh, as far as their liability will hold out. Uh, Schedule A is a lot different. Um, you know that uh, you can standardize standard deduction versus itemization. Uh, most people can't itemize anymore, so. Right. There's a lot of changes. A lot, a lot of, change. of changes. And I think yeah. what are I, you seeing too? I agree yeah. with you. You know, you need to go see your CPA. Yeah. Um, also go see your financial yeah. advisor. There's a lot of people with a lot of, uh, of gains out there yeah. in their accounts. Uh, right. And there's some losses out there too, because the market really hasn't hasn't been the best market over the last 12 months. So, yeah. Um, yeah. You well, know, you also, you know, I think it's that. a good time. It's a good checkup time, right? You have go see your financial planner. Go see your CPA. Uh, you know, if you're, you know, I'm in the mortgage, you know, CFO in the mortgage business now, so it is a good time to check your mortgage. Rates have dropped significantly over the last 12 months, and uh, might be an opportunity for you to pick up a few dollars or shorten, shorten the length of your mortgage. That's that's so, a great idea. I'll, I'll so, add that to my review list yeah. and start looking uh, at, and check their rates. Right, right. Yeah, we also have a uh, guest today, right? We do, we do. Um, yeah, Nathan yeah. White with uh, Axia Senior Benefits. Yeah. Hey, welcome aboard. Thanks for having hey, me. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me. How's, how's everything going? It's going. Good. We started uh, our busy time of the year. Yeah, yeah. It's that time of the year for you, too. That's right? right. Yep, you guys yeah. are talking about Everything it. happens at this time of year. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So, uh, Medicare and your loan period just started. Okay. October 15th runs through December 7th. So, okay. just a short, short time. Period. Short time frame, right? Correct. Yeah. So, a lot of activity. Absolutely. A lot so of questions. Uh, someone's on Medicare, mm -hmm. they're coming on to Medicare, maybe they have a loved one on Medicare. Right. And now's the time of year that they need to. Take a look at the benefits, review okay. plans, and you'll find out which ones are most conducive to the health and financial needs of whether it's themselves or that loved one. Right, right. Yeah. And you put together a nice video for us as well. Yes, yeah, a little yeah. Uh, Medicare 101. Okay, all right. So we'll play so that. We'll, and, okay, we can. Right. Well, let's, let's. Here we go. Let's go with that. Good morning. My name is Nathan White. I'm a licensed healthcare advisor with Axia Senior Benefit Solutions here in the St. Louis area. And today we're going to discuss Medicare 101. So for those of you that are turning 65, you're going to become eligible for Original Medicare. Original Medicare has two parts, Part A, which is your hospitalization, and Part B, which is your medical. Typically, uh, Medicare covers 80%, leaving you, the beneficiary, with a 20% responsibility. Unfortunately, there is no ceiling or no limit on what that 20% could potentially reach. 20% of 10,000 is only 2,000 but 20% of $200,000 to $300,000 potentially could be catastrophic financially. So how can you protect yourself? There's two ways. 
The first is by getting a Medicare supplement or Medigap policy. Typically, a lot of my clients that travel a lot go this route because it is nationwide coverage. You would also need to add a standalone prescription drug plan. Both your uh, Medigap and your drug plan would have a monthly premium. The second option would be Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage combines your Part A and Part B into one plan. Most of them include prescription drug coverage, and many of them include extra benefits like dental, vision, hearing, health club memberships. With a Medicare Advantage plan, they could have a monthly premium. However, there's many that do not. So with a supplement, you're paying now for what you might need. The Medicare Advantage, you may not have a monthly premium, but you are responsible for co-pays and co-insurance, so you're paying as you go. If you have any questions about Medicare or are interested in a free plan review, my number's on the screen. Please give me a call. All right, that was pretty pretty yeah, nice stuff. A lot of good stuff there. No, absolutely, that's... you know, quite but concise. To yeah. your point, uh, you know, really, there's two options that most people have, and that's what that video explained. All right. Um, you know, and this time of year, we offer free plan reviews. Okay. So again, for those loved ones or the Medicare beneficiaries, you know, they can give me a call at Access yeah. Senior Benefit Solutions. And your that's, number? Uh, it's six three six. 410-4513. Perfect. And that'll be on the screen as well. Okay. Um, but if they want to give us a call, come on in or I can come to them. Right. And just take a look and see if the plan they're in is what's best for them or right. perhaps maybe there's something new for next year that fits their needs better. Okay. So, right. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. No, hey, appreciate Great. you appreciate having it. me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Nate. Thank you. All, right. All right. All right, that was some good stuff with Nate. Yeah, that yeah. is good stuff. You know, yeah. just talking about planning, obviously Medicare planning is, uh, is a big part uh, Which most seniors. people do not think about at all. Most people don't. They, yeah. they don't like to change their health care. Yeah. But Medicare changes every year, and they really need to look at it and make sure, sure. Where, where where they're at now is the right fit for them. All right. Well, good so, stuff. And I thought good Nate did a great job. Yeah, so, yeah. So I think we're uh, finished well, pretty we're, much. We're not quite finished, Bob. Oh, you know, I guess we're uh, not. I was wearing blue today, and it just reminded me yes. of a football game. Hmm. Um, Ole Miss versus Mizzou, and I think I saw you there in blue. I was, yes. Yeah, I was, I was there in my black and gold, and I think uh, it, it reminded me. I tried me, to avoid you. Yeah, yeah, because it, it reminded me that I think uh, you owe me five bucks. I do, I do. Let me see if I have that on me, in fact. Oh. I don't, just 20s. Oh. And I don't have change. All right. Yes, that was, uh, yes, it didn't work out so well for the Rebels. But yeah, well, that's how it that's goes. How it goes but. Good We're time. Good. good time otherwise. Good time. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but everyone, thanks for tuning in to uh, uh, the uh, the podcast for St. Louis Wise Guys, and we look forward to seeing you. See you next time. Next time.